The Buford family is without a home after the storms last week sent a tree into their house. That's right. 11 Alive's Angelina Salcedo walked through this damage with them today. Angelina, you're joining us now from the countryside village of Lake Lanier. That's where this happened. And you say the family's life, it's just really turned upside down now. They were even concerned about the weather today, trying to make sure that another tree wasn't sent into their house. I want you to take a look behind me so that you can see everything from their home that they've had to take out and put in their driveway. This family of three expecting a baby, and now they're forced to stay two hours away with family. Walking into a nightmare. A little wet in here. Angel and Dylan Burkett look at what's left of their home, their one-year-old in hand. This is where we would have been sitting and that's where everything came down at. So it could have been a lot worse. We were lucky. <laughs> Had two branches came through here. That was Thursday late in the evening. A storm rocked their lives. It was insane because I was standing down that hallway. When I looked down, I heard the big branches falling. It was big boom, 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 and then just a dust cloud. On the ground, all that's left are cut up tree stumps. They're even holding up the tarp that is covering the damage. Take a look from above. You'll see where this tree hit in the center of their home. It only took 10 minutes for this family's entire life to be uprooted. This is where all the memories happened. Like all of the firsts were here and the nursery is here and we have to leave that behind. It's hard to put a bunch of work into a house and then just at a split second after three years, be kicked out of it. Now they're salvaging anything they can, but the cost to fix this could leave them homeless. Living paycheck to paycheck, it's it's not easy situation. Especially with a baby on the way. Um, 16 weeks, <laughs> due in October. Yesterday we cleared everything out. Hopefully we can get all of our furniture out of here and playing one day at a time. Now, the couple tells me that they did not have home insurance because of how expensive it is. They just couldn't afford it. Angel, though, happens to be a really big Taylor Swift fan. So ironically, the Swifties found her GoFundMe and have shared it. And thousands of people are helping them. People that they don't even know try to get back on their feet as they expect baby Brittany in a few months. We have a link to that GoFundMe on our website right now. We're live tonight in Buford. Angelina Salcedo, 11 Alive News.